Bruges, Belgium. This medieval city in the market square, we didn't think we'd ever make it back here. 10th century tavern served beer, tossed out the drunkards and the townspeople, chained them up against the wall to throw tomatoes and raw eggs at their heads. Chains still hang on the stone wall. Then the plague hit. Belgian people survived by drinking that same beer, not water. Out of the cesspool slop, the gutters fed the sludge into the narrow, shallow canals. Today, the hip and the chic and the rich live here. They seem happy, and there are plenty of bars with good Belgian beer. In the heat of noon, it feels cool when we walk the cobblestone streets. Then, the giant cruise ships come in, spill their fish guts. Thousands stumble in where World War II generals held and shook their hands in agreement not to bomb the city into oblivion. Brussels, Berlin, Rotterdam, and Dresden come to mind. Now the naked fact is that tourists spend money. Two local guys sitting outside watching a rock band drinking beer shout in thick accents, go home. A tour guide with the number of lollipop tells them, quiet, behave. We are staying in a small hotel and when the four hour tours are over and the cruise ships sail again, we linger with the ghosts of Moore and Chaucer. They pass this way too. In the quiet late afternoon shadows, the ducks with ducklings and the swans swim in the canals. They have the collective soul of Cervantes. They didn't stop here, but made their way to Amsterdam instead.